That helps a lot. So liver two is right here. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, you're gonna kind of slide back, and liver three is right here. Okay. You can cut his little indent. You can feel that. Yeah, oh, you can okay. feel. It's just yeah. It's just. Yeah, they're really close. Three is the one. You can use two as well. Two is more distal for eye. Okay. If her eyes start to get red, it's good. Three is the source point, and that's the safest one with her because it just balances out the liver, which is what you kind of want to do. So should she do just do three or do two and three? I would do two and three at first and see what happens. Is that the same on all four parts? No, it's just on the liver's only on the back because the liver kind of starts down here. It runs all the way up, kind of hits the last rib and comes to about there. And just on the right? Right and left. You always do like both sides. Okay. But it's the inside on that one. Also. Yes, the inside yeah. toe. Okay. So we'll do that one. The other one I would do with her, and hers is going to be weird. Where's your little bow way? I don't say it's oh. hard there. So Bawe, which is just a really nice calming point. It's the point of 100 meetings. Mm -hmm. So things I'm just trying not to create a seizure, basically, but we're just going to kind of, it's a really nice calming point. Mm -hmm. So just kind of where my little fingers are right there. Now how do you, is this the one that, that's by the bone? It's like kind of, it's the at bones? the lumbar sacral space, and she's just got, because she's so long. Yeah. Because like, she's lumbar, tail, sacral, so I think right in here, so I'm just kind of popping The base of the tail? A little bit above the base, like kind of where the base of the tail almost meets the lumbar. Let me see if it feels. I feel it kind of dense in a little. Oh yeah, there's yeah. a little. There's a little. There's a little, there's a little hole. There's an indent. If she's you'll laying like that. Okay. If she's because laying like this, you'll be able yeah. to find it. With the, it, okay. there's a little dip in there, a little divot. So yeah, right where my finger is there. Okay. It's a really good spot, okay. and that's a nice one for and her. That's by way. That's by way. By way. Right. If she's seizing and you can get to her paw, liver yeah. three is a really good one. But if she's like full on oh, crazy, she, yeah, she okay, everything moving. The other one, I will. I recognize some of these from my kids. Bladder eighteen is just the association point. So the kidney is her last review goes straight up, and that's twenty three. And you kind of walk over. So it's twenty three. 22, 21, 20. So her liver is about right about there. Um, it's kind of hard to find, but that's just a checkpoint. So you can kind of see if it feels like really warm all of a sudden. You're just kind of like, hmm, maybe I should do liver three. Just see if we can balance that out a little bit. So basically, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but an easy way to do it is, is as you're going over, if you feel a lot of heat here yeah. in this area, just do a point because you can definitely do it that way. Because if you feel her right now, yeah, yeah, she feels a little warm there, doesn't she? She's a little warm, not as warm as she was. So she's kind of balancing it out. So that's good. Because like definitely cooler, cooler, and you get warm, mm -hmm. and then it's kind of cool again. But we're getting that down a little bit. Um, and then another, and it just depends like what they're doing. And there's another good point. Like so, if she's like kind of hyper crazy, right? Really? <laughs> I know, I know these from Dad. Down I lay in bed and do these. Right behind her occipital is gallbladder twenty. Uh huh. And you can kind of just a little divot right under there. It's it's actually gallbladder, which is sister to liver, uh -huh. but it just pulls stuff out. It just pulls energy down. Um, right in between those two is GV17, which is just clears brain, calms mind. And it's there's like a little divot right behind the skull. So you can kind of start here, go here, and then triple heater 18 is right behind the ears. It's like uh -huh. another divot. That's really good for hyperactivity. Those are Nad's points. Yeah. And because like the thyroid because she's on thyroid uh -huh. medication. I'm not sure like what that will do, but so I maybe just do those two. These two are, I know for sure are fine. And the other one, maybe like talk to your vet because I don't want to screw with like her thyroid levels because yeah. it doesn't really screw yeah. them, but just because of her state, like seizures are always just kind of very, yeah. you just don't always know, but she should be good there. Well, that you're sort of answering a question I had of Jan. I said, I wonder if Reiki could also bring on a seizure. Mm -hmm. Reiki, just actual energy work, mm -hmm. cannot. Because it just it, the, the body will take just what it needs. It's okay. woo-woo. Acupressure, you have to be kind of careful. Because I'm stimulating, like, you kind of, liver three, I'm using a source point. Because that's yeah. just going to balance. That's not going to do anything. If I were to do a point, um, what's a good point to think about? A heat-inducing point. Like a triple heater five, mm -hmm. which can induce heat. That's enough. That could actually... Maybe feel like anything it could trigger it. I mean, some so you have to just be careful, kind of with points that you're using. So I'm just kind of like, okay, we're just not going to use a ton of them. And if I do them for demo, I'm not going to hold them very long. But yeah, so that's why you always kind of want to be careful. And I'm just kind of keep checking her to make sure she's not getting too warm. But yeah, the ones I gave you are like they're pretty safe. Like they shouldn't cause anything. Let's say your tongue. Make your mom show me your tongue. Say ah, Lily. Say ah. Let's say ah.
open. I know she's nice and placed. See that? That's actually... So she's got kind of the pink with the white coating. Yeah. So that, that's good. If she starts to get red, like, then you know that something's going on. Because usually, like, with seizures, I think the kind she has, like, she's, like, red, and she'll get, like, heat induced, and her gums will get redder. So you can kind of watch for that. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. But even, like, with heat strokes, sometimes too, if your dog gets too hot, you see, like, that red tongue, mm -hmm. and you know, like, you need to get them cooled down. Because it's just, there's way too much heat up here, and it's not coming down. The body yes. can't deal with it. Thank okay. you. Look how good you are. Let's see, I'll just give you those points. That's just wonderful. Yeah, and just the liver through, you can do those a fair amount. But yeah, and just like see what happens. I mean, if you yeah. think it's helping, great. If you don't, you're definitely. But I think they should be safe. Oh, 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 oh. Good oh, job, Daddy. Really, I should have filmed that one. And I don't throw. So yeah, yeah so it's, it's a lot of the points that Nat has, so that's yeah, because, really. I mean, seizure, it's like it's, he, has liver, he has liver heat. He has, yeah, because like, like, that's exactly head, what Dr. B said, too. So you just you kind of want to, you know, there's, like, there's just, when you have like, it's kind of like in Chinese medicine, you've got yin and yang. You've yes. heard of yin and yang, so it's balanced. So when there's like an acute condition, all of a sudden, like, your yang goes up here. Mm -hmm. So you want to kind of, okay, you need to sedate the yang. You're not going to increase the yin because you can't, so you want to pull the yang down like older, like more of a chronic condition, like for instance, arthritis. Yeah. So, okay, you're even, you would think it would be like excessive yin because it's cold and wet usually, mm -hmm. but what actually it is is that you don't have enough yang anymore. So you don't like diarrhea, not really like, like sometimes like diarrhea or chronic stomach stuff too. You don't have enough heat to cook your food or like get the snowvials going or help with your bone. So the problem with this is that you can't sedate this. You want to kind of, you have to start, you have to actually like, try and excel this or support this. Because once something kind of gets deficient, it's, you you can't get it back up. You just kind of create a new normal, but you get the body to deal with it. So acute things are like, you know, you have a cold. That's acute, uh -huh. yeah. So you can bring that down. Things that are acute, you can usually kind of fix, basically, right away. As things that you want to kind of catch things kind of on the surface. Because uh -huh. yes. mm -hmm. as they get deeper into the body, they're harder to get out. And you want them to kind of like, that's the whole point of like, with, you know, TCM, <laughs> is that you want to kind of catch everything on the surface. That's like what the meridians are for, because they can kind of tell you, okay, uh -huh. we're having kind of a little reaction. Because a lot of times, like, you'll run through the association point like your vet does. Yeah. And if something feels weird on liver, you're going to go to like, there's the alarm there's like an alarm point so it means it's deeper in the body so liver 14 is back here so i would check out to see if, hmm, if this like feels like it's really hot is this really hot and then i know okay something's going on mm -hmm. if this is normal i'm like okay we just have something on the surface i can kind of play with and deal how interesting yeah Oops. cool